Hi and welcome to Cheeky Crypto. In this video, we're going to be taking another look at Harmony One. This has been something that's obviously been on many people's lips today. After our brief update the other day, uh, talking about some of these technicals, we're going to get into a few things in this video to explain why we've seen such a good run today with Harmony One and what to expect um, now we've kind of pushed past a couple of boundary points. So guys, as we get into this, if you find it useful and informative, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new, do subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with everything. Tap the bell, hit on all notifications, and you won't miss any more Harmony videos. Right, um, let's get into this and talk about what's going on here with Harmony One. Okay, so we're obviously uh, looking at Harmony One to the USDT. We are on the daily chart at the moment, and we are using Binance as the data source here. Now, before we get into the technicals, uh, I just want to kind of recap on what we talked about previously, which was actually expecting a bit of a pullback on the shorter time frames, uh, specifically on that hour chart, um, and basically looking to find good support and then bounce to, uh, I think it was like 7.9 cent on the particular day. And we're looking to turn that into a support line. Now, obviously, we've moved past 7.9. And in fact, we've actually moved past our next target, which was 9.1. And the reason for this, guys, is there's some, some stuff that's actually been happening outside of the technical data. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at this one here. Um, so this basically is how Terra and Harmony announced a DeFi partnership um, focused on UST stablecoin um, and this is all about integration so terra is excited to expand um the growing portfolio of DeFi products to multiple chains and working with harmony to bring usd or ust um, and anchor to another growing ecosystem okay and this is the ceo of terra now and um, what's really cool about this uh, obviously terra an algorithmic stablecoin platform for savings, investments, and payments uh, is joining forces with Harmony One blockchain to pursue new DeFi initiatives focused on programmable money and other so-called financial um, primitives. Now, what's really cool about this, obviously we covered um, Luna or Terra um, not that long ago, and it's definitely a very interesting platform and project that, that's actually doing some pretty interesting things. Um, so if you haven't checked that video out, I do recommend checking out that video uh, where we talk all about Luna and everything that it is doing. And obviously Luna is expected to do incredibly well uh, for the second half of this year. So an integration with Harmony is going to obviously help not just Harmony uh, and the one um, but also, you know, Terra and Luna, um, you know, retrospectively, they're both are going to be very complemented by this partnership. So this is absolutely huge. So it's understandable why we're seeing significant push with the Harmony price today. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of call this one out, uh, what's going on there. Um, so uh, again, worth just having a look at that video if you're not familiar with Luna. If you are, great, you'll understand what's going on here. Um, and otherwise, I'll link this into the video description so you can check out this article in more detail. Um, so let's get back into the technicals, right? Because now this news has actually hit and we've had significant price movement, we have to be prepared for what comes next, which will be a natural pullback. With this being said, however, we can take a look at this daily chart and we can see that we're not overbought on the daily RSI. In fact, we've had a good motion to the upside, um, but obviously we're not overbought yet on the daily, which means we could potentially still see more upswing um, over several different days with the occasional pullback on the smaller timeframes to allow us to continue to grow. Obviously, we are now fast approaching our next key milestone, which is coming into this yellow box area just here, which will signify us coming out of this kind of bear um, phase into phase five or wave five and um, push to the upside. So Harmony is definitely doing some fantastic work here on this daily chart. And the expectations are that because we're not overbought here and as long as we have good volume continuing and we have small pullbacks on the hourly, we could potentially continue this growth to the upside. So what we're gonna look for here on the daily chart to start with is obviously where our relative strength index is. This is at 62, so plenty of room to grow there. And what we're gonna do is just throw the volume on and here you can see how we've had a little bit of a pump in volume. Now it's not a massive amount of volume here. Um, so again, we're gonna to want to check on our um, hourly view as well in a moment to just check to see if this volume is good volume or bad volume. Is it been moving with us in the price direction or has it actually been working against us? And this will give us a bit of a tell as to whether or not we're going to have a really sharp steep correction or a gradual kind of support level correction where we could then see another swing to the upside. So on the daily chart, you can see a significant shift um, in how it has been operating recently. It's been quite flat and static. Uh, and we've actually seen a significant push to the upside. Two days on a row, we've seen increased volume 
medium day on day. And this could be the start of a, sh a sentiment shift in the, in the market, right? Um, and again, when we checked over OEVI, the technicals here or the artificial intelligence one, the data is suggesting to us is that actually there's still a reasonable amount of fear when it comes to harmony. I imagine that tomorrow this rating is going to change, but we have to be mindful of this um, your recent news article is a fundamental shift and not a technical shift. And therefore the technicals have to play a little bit of catch up now. So we're gonna be quite mindful that we're gonna see some flags that may be false positives uh, and obviously to be mindful over what potentially might come. So we're gonna have to rely on several different technical indicators to help give us a bit of a steer as to what is likely to happen after a fundamental shift that we've seen today with this partnership. So um, right now, obviously volume here is good. The relative strength index is good on this daily chart and we're obviously coming up and um, looking at a good support level of 9.1 at the moment. So let's pull this down into our hourly view. Okay, and we're just gonna push this up a little bit, make this a little bit bigger. So what we're gonna do is uh, take a look at this motion right here, right? So we obviously see this is where we were talking about it, uh, you know, on the 5th, uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was the fifth um, or around here at this point anyway in time uh, going into the sixth. I feel it was around here somewhere. We're looking for a pullback to find support here at 6.2. We found this um, and then we're looking for this push to the upside here, right? And we're looking to try to breach this area. We obviously tested this uh, resistance at um, 6.7, slight pullback and then broke through it, turning it into a support line. And then obviously the rest is history here as we started to push on through. Now we can see there was significant volume came in to help push it above this point. Okay, and then we we'll see that we started to see a decrease in volume as we had this correction just here okay and uh, then we started to see some interesting volumes come in here as we had some fantastic news for Harmony and Luna so we can see that the volumes have very definitely increased right in positive way we pushed the price up and the volumes have come in pushing the price up now really what's good to see here is there is a been some selling pressure as we've reached this area here and it was a quite a large amount of selling pressure that's quite a big amount right and um, it's actually greater than that of the buying volume uh, specifically over here um, so that's actually done quite well to stabilize that price where it is right it's basically come right across this resistance level at 9.1 um, so currently at 9.2 we're resting right on top of it right um, so the expectations here are that we'll probably have a pullback Okay, we can see that the relative strength index is resting up here at 77, okay, on our hourly relative strength index. Um, so again, we're overbought. We obviously have started to see a decrease in volume and we're stabilizing the price just up here at 9.2 cent. So the expectations according to the technicals here when we have an overbought situation is we do need to bring this back in line. So we need to drop this down into the purple area. Uh, and obviously the volumes decreasing the way they have is helping to stabilize us. So we can potentially drop this relative strength index to the downside whilst we actually still maintain this price up here by having that volume also decrease down. So if we are able to stabilize here, I imagine that we'll find support probably around that kind of 4.8 eight yeah i'm gonna say uh, sorry 8.4 cent there i think that's a pretty interesting area to kind of watch out for could be a bouncing point um, and if we get a correction to this point this could then take us up towards our yellow box area here which would enter at about 10.5 cent and this yellow box here is where all the major work is going to happen this is where we've been rejected from previously if we just sleep on back here this is the area that we've been rejected from on several occasions and specifically guys this is the um, fibonacci retracement zone um, I think it's the uh, 702 area that we're, we're trying to really push through and we're getting rejected from. So coming up into here and having enough momentum behind us to push on through and get this closed candle above this area is absolutely key for Harmony to really push on into that fifth wave. Um, so right now, uh, looking at the technicals and understanding that our artificial intelligence here is still saying there's a fair amount of fear here. There's definitely liquidity problems, there's risks to rewards, and it is of course the best profitability rating still, and it's got uh, a B2 rating for peak end value. Now it has actually moved up one overall rating for EVI. So it was C2 yesterday, it's moved up to C1. So the rating has improved, um, but it's still not the best ratings that we've seen, okay? So the expectations would be that we'd pullback it won't be a significant pullback it looks like the sentiment in the market here has been performing well for us we've had a, a significant pullback on volume that's nice and steady and low and we should start to see this relative strength index drop if we see this drop down we could potentially find a good bouncing level down here at that kind of 8.4 cent area a bounce from here could take us then above this resistance line of 9.1 as we go to head and try to enter um, above the 618 area of the Fibonacci, which would be about 10.5 cent. Now, what we're going to do is just confirm a few things. We'll jump down into our five minute 
Um, so here you can see really how that volume has been decreasing, right? So this decrease in volume has really helped stabilize the price where it is right on top of this resistance line. And it could be that actually because it's just above that we're actually turning it into a support line, right? The other thing that we can see is that relative strength index is no longer overbought. In fact, on this fifth, uh, five minute chart we're not overbought at all so on the smaller time frames if that volume does decide to come up we could of course push a little bit higher with that being said though the fact that we've been overbought for quite a few hours now and uh, does indicate to me that we're more than likely going to have that correction that's needed that will bring this lower time frame to a little bit lower on our relative strength index probably oversold at that point but the main one that we want to be watching out for is the hourly we definitely want to see this thing come down to the lower bounds um, and if we can do that whilst reducing the volume that should protect us on this particular correction where we potentially could see a good strong bounce from about 8.4 cent. Um, so when we take a look at the daily, obviously plenty of room to grow, right? So a small pullback before going up again it's definitely on the cards here, but we are not overbought in this area and we do have day on day volume increases. So tomorrow, if uh, or at least overnight, if we have that kind of small correction come in, we could potentially see ourselves coming above 9.1 and heading up towards 10.5 pretty quickly here, uh, as long as we sentiment in the market doesn't change. But I am very mindful, guys, that the fu uh, fundamental shift, the, the news um, about Terra and Harmony One joining, uh, basically having a partnership, and obviously what the artificial intelligence has picked up from the data, these two things do not necessarily marry up. So again, it could be a pullback, but if we do find good support, uh, we'll have a bounce before potentially falling down any lower. So I'm mindful that ultimately this is an unusual push to the upside, but with that unusual push to the upside, you sometimes do get these wonderful kind of breakthrough events that do trigger us a continuous motion to the upside. So obviously we're going to be very, very careful now uh, to see if that correction to 8.4 holds, hopefully 8.4 cent is going to be a new support for us as we go ahead and continue this motion to the upside. It does look like the market overall has been had had a bit of a kick to it. If we come over to our, um, our coin market cap, we can obviously be mindful that Bitcoin's been very static, just going sideways. Um, it's up there at 34.5k, but it isn't doing a lot at the moment. Um, we can obviously see that Ethereum has been doing okay, um, but there are some really good movers in the space, right? We obviously have Polkadot doing really well. Uh, today, we obviously have seen, um, you know, theatre do okay as well recently. And um, we just find some of these really good ones. So obviously, Harmony One has moved up significantly. We've also seen Anchor do incredibly well recently as well. And uh, to mention MTV also doing well, uh, along with Singularity DAO. Um, now, you know, previously was 50 cent up at 250. It's doing well. So there's a lot of these projects that are moving uh, unusually, uh, de decoupling from Bitcoin. Um, so we have to be mindful, though, that Bitcoin could potentially be a bit of a thorn in the side of many of these projects, Harmony One being one of those as well. Guys, um, hopefully you found this brief update on Harmony One useful and informative. We have a bit of an understanding as to why Harmony One has been performing so well today. And obviously we are expecting a pullback because we are so heavily overbought on the hourly. But I do feel that that could be short lived and we could see another push to the upside for another day or so before the daily chart becomes overbought. If you found this useful, do give me a like. I really appreciate that. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with everything we do here. Hit the bell, tap on all notifications, and you won't miss a thing. With that said, done that out of the way, I hope you have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.